Hi guys, my GCSE Revision here. Today what we are going to be talking about is console bonds, also known as perpetual bonds. And this video really follows on from the coupon bonds and the discount bonds that I've done. So be sure to check those out if you want to gain a full understanding of the bonds. I put it into a little playlist so you can probably play it next to the next to this video. So without further ado, let's get on to console bonds. So console bonds, also known as perturital bonds, are a fixed income security with no maturity date. And what this will mean is you will constantly receive every quarter or year, receive a coupon payment. with no face value paid. And you may be a little bit confused with this. So what I'll do is I'll do a little example and I'll incorporate also coupon and discount bonds. So let's just assume year one, year two, let's assume these bonds are five years their maturity of five years so let's write console coupon and discount sorry about my handwriting okay there we go so let's start off with a blue and let's start off with a coupon bond so with a coupon bond as we already know if you've seen the video we just constantly receive coupon payments every single year up until maturity, where we get the coupon and the face value. And remember, when I say coupon, what I mean is interest payments. Now, the reason it is called a coupon payment is because back in the old days, bonds used to be given on paper. Yes, that's right, paper, not online. They used to be given on paper, and they used to have little tabs that you'd pull off, and they were called your coupons. And you'd give those to the bearer, and you'll get your coupon payment, or your interest payment, as some, some may say. So now, for a discount bond, we have no coupon payments. All we have at maturity is the face value, also known as the future value, which would have been factored in depending on the time value of money. Now, with console bonds, what we do is we consistently receive coupon payments that go on forever. That just carry on going forever. You will never receive the face value of the bond back. Now, this obviously has advantages and disadvantages compared to the other types of bonds, but we'll go through these later. But next, let's try and figure out how we would calculate the present value of one of these bonds and how much should you be paying for it. So, there is a formula, as with everything, console bond formula. And so the formula is the present value is equal to the coupon payment over the rate. And when I say rate, this can be um, a combination of inflation in the market, interest rates, and that's what makes up the rate. So if we were just to use a little example, let's say the rate in the market we can get a nice rate of 10% and the coupon payment received is let's say 50 pounds or 50 euros or 50 dollars depending on where you are so this would be quite simple we'll put 50 over the rate 1.1 1.1 million 10% equals quick maths 500 oh my mistake should be 0 0.1. We're not discounting. So that'll be 500. And that'll be the present value of the bond. That's how much you would pay for the bond. Essentially, anything below 500 is what you would want, be wanting to pay. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of, of coupon bonds? 
So, first of all, advantage. You'll constantly receive a continuous income from the bond. So you're going to have a steady income year in, year out. Nothing's going to change. However, there is a downside to this. The downside is, obviously, whenever it comes to corporate finance, the time value of money. This coupon payment will be worth less and less each year due to our friend inflation. And that's the downside of having a console bond because it's going to go on forever. So let's say this £50, which is from the previous example, it's going to be worth less and less and less each year. And so that is a whistle-stop tour of console bonds. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure you watch the other ones to fully understand bonds. I will be doing some more videos on this. Thanks for watching.